Hello everyone. Today we are here to discuss about industrial automation and how it is playing an important role in industries nowadays. We will be looking at PLCs and DCS systems which have a very large impact on the industrial process and here we will be also discussing about various technical aspects related to the closed loop control system and also we will be discussing about various instruments used in industries and how they are used as a feedback to the control systems. First of all, we will be looking at what is industrial automation. So here we are having a PPT in which we will be discussing about industrial automation. What is industrial automation? Industrial automation refers to the collection of personal hardware and software that can affect or influence the safe, secure and reliable operation of any industrial process. So obviously industrial automation can be thought of as a set of hardware and softwares obviously plcs and various instruments which are used in industrial process are all those are called hardwares and softwares which are basically the plc programming softwares even we can say scada software and all those are called software so combinedly they are working in the field of automation itself combinedly they are helping us to enhance our industrial automation and also it is safe and secure why because most of the controlling which has to be necessarily required is done in the control room itself so there is a, a great enhancement in safety also industrial automation is the use of control system obviously there are various closed loop control systems or we can define a uh, number of loops as per the process requirements and which may use instruments as well as various inputs from plc and also the output from plc overall controlling a single process or multiple process so here we'll be having uh, various control loops and also computers and robots and information technologies for different processes and machineries in an industry to replace human beings so obviously if it is a process then there are num large number of inputs and output which needs to be handled and and also when we talk about sequential logic which is basically in machineries right so in this way industrial automation is helping us to replace all the human beings or most of, or we can say most of the human beings through machines itself all the work is done automatically so direct instruction of uh, human beings with machine is eliminated right similarly benefits of industrial automation so the first point here is increasing productivity increasing productivity how we can say because see if you are totally dependent on human beings so human beings have a particular amount of efficiency and they can only work for few hours they can't work continuously for hours so there is a problem of consistent working or we can say the production rate may vary according to the efficiency of human beings but in case of machines the machines will work continuously for hours and with the consist in a consistent manner so they'll they'll be working for a long time continuously so obviously the productivity will be increasing second point here is product produced are more consistent obviously the products are more consistent see uh, if you take an example of any cold drink for example if we take coca-cola so the taste of coca-cola is same even in if you taste it in india or america or japan anywhere the taste will be same why because all uh, the ingredients the ratio of uh, each and every ingredient is same in each industry producing coca-cola right so how it is achieved how we can achieve that particular test everywhere so it is done using industrial automation only only machines have ability to do this no human being can uh, produce a 
consistent product even if you make a tea or a coffee each and every time you will be getting different tests so how you can uh, say that uh, human beings can produce consistent taste so machines are more reliable in consistency as well similarly if you talk about the reliability of the product produced so product produced are more reliable here is our next point in which see the finishing of product is much better as compared to human beings if the same product is made by human beings and if the same product is made by machine there will be a huge difference so consistently the product produce of a similar quality and of good quality so obviously the reliability will be more okay so decreased labor ex expenses decreased labor expenses means what see suppose you are having uh, six processes and six processes in each process we have 10 human beings okay so in each process 10 human beings are working suppose we are controlling any process or these six processes manually so obviously if we are uh, controlling the process manually each and every process requires 10 human beings to total 60 human beings are required to control any process okay so if you are paying to each and every uh, person then obviously the cost overall uh, labor expense will increase so if the same work is done uh, through machines itself so uh, or we can say plc's or in or if industrial automation comes into picture so the labor expenses will decrease drastically why because each and every process can be operated by a com single computer itself through a SCADA system so all these things designing and how uh, interlocking is done in each and everything will be looking in plc's so it is very helpful to decrease the labor expenses also next point here is increasing safety in working condition so increasing safety means why because most of the work is done through control room itself operators will be simply sitting in the control room and operating the process there are very less chances that there will be a direct interaction between human beings and machines so if the direct there is no direct interaction between human beings and machines so obviously the safety conditions will improve and the chances of accident will be lesser okay so the next point here is see history of automation if you talk about from bottom to top will be going so if you talk about uh, the first thing here was manual control which is not an automation then there was a pneumatic control in which the process was controlled through pneumatic pressures pneumatic here means uh, air pressure variation in air pressure will control the process so that is also not a good technology then there came uh, hardware logic control the hardware logic control is basically dependent on the relays and contactors and hardware timers hardware counters and all those who are involved in this hardware logic control in order to control any process so there may, there will be a large number of wires and all those things will be there so this was also not good then there came electronic control using logic gates this was also eliminated and then came plc's and dcs system so plc's and dcs system basically are uh, uh, the hardware which can be programmed as per our requirement through computer systems and it has number of inputs and number of outputs which can control a large number of inputs and number of outputs uh, easily so we'll be seeing why plc's and dcs systems are more reliable as compared to hardware logic control and electronic logic gate systems so <clears throat> next point here we'll be discussing is in industrial automation what are the different components we'll be using so most important thing here is filled instruments so filled instruments are basically uh, there may be different types of instruments such as level sensors, temperature sensors, pressure sensors, flow sensors and load sensors. 
or many more different types of instruments which are basically used to uh, measure the process parameters so level sensor will me measure what is the level inside the tank and what is the level of liquid inside the tank or uh, there can be different types of level sensor as per the requirement if the tank is large then there will be ultrasonic radar level sensor if the tank is small we can use capacitive type of level sensor as per the requirement there may be different instruments uh, for different applications uh, so these instruments are basically acting as the eyes of uh, any process so basically they are just giving us the feedback they are just measuring the process parameter and just giving us the value in the form of current or voltage the current or voltage is basically in the form of 4 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 10 volts okay so this signal will now go to the input of plc so there may be see the next here is hardware and software so obviously the signal from instruments will go to the control hardware the control hardware can be of different types like plc's dcs pid controls and cnc controls so plc's dcs and pid controls all will be looking into uh, our upcoming lectures and then there is a control software basically control software is uh, software which is used by the operators we need to just design it and provide facilities to the operators or any or different engineers process engineers uh, so they can just control the plant just by sitting inside the control room itself okay so supervisory control and data acquisition is the full form for scada so basically scada is supervisory control supervisory means what supervising any process that means observing any process and controlling controlling means just by clicking on our computer screen there will be action in plant or any changes from our computer screen or our software that will affect the process in the plant so this is how we are controlling just by sitting inside the control room itself and also data acquisition basically different values from the instruments will be directly uh, displayed on the SCADA system so basically we are observing it and even these values can be taken to excel sheet or any other database management system also okay so in this way industrial automation different components are used and to complete any industrial automation fundamental right so next here is automation installation procedure at the bottom here we are having sensors placed in the field so what are these sensors these are basically the various instruments such as temperature sensors pressure sensors or any other process parameter sensors which will be producing the signal in the form of 4 to 20 milliampere or 0 to 10 volt signal which has to be transferred from the sensor to the control room where number of input output terminals are there for plc's that will be looking uh, later so these signals are then brought to junction box see in the next ppt i'll show you say junction box junction box is basically what this is also placed inside the field only this is this junction box is just to accumulate large number of sensor signal into one place and then this signal will be going to the control panel through a multi-core cable see here we'll look at see there are different types of uh, sensors right these are different types of sensors here we are having six sensors these six sensors will produce the signal in the form of 4 to 20 milliampere signal and this will go to the junction box which is present inside the field itself now this signal from junction box will go to the control room via six pair cable see there are six signals six instruments so obviously will be requiring six pair cable so each instrument will have two uh, two cables right so obviously uh, there will be six pairs okay so there were different there are different instruments which will be accumulate uh, whose signals will be accumulated at the junction box and this will go to the control room
okay so con in control room we will be having marshaling cabinet so if you look at in this uh, last slide see marshaling cabinet or control panel there may be different types of instruments present in inside the field these instruments will produce the signal in the form of 4 to 20 milliampere signal and this will go to the field junction box so all these cables will be accumulated in a single cable that is multi-core cable and this signal will this cable will take the signals of multiple instruments to the marshalling cabinets in marshalling cabinet we have different cpus and a number of io cards where the signals coming from the instruments will be connected and then the dcs system or the plc system will understand the signal and convert it in the form such that our computer system can understand it and ultimately whatever we, uh, the data is sent by the plc's or dcs system that will be uh, available on our computer screen and we can also program plc's or dcs system through our computer system so in this way totally an industrial automation system is working so in the next class we'll be looking at what is plc and how different uh, brands of plc is what are the different brands of plc we, which are available in the market and how what is the internal architecture of any plc and all those things we'll be looking at okay so thank you